My name is Matthew Leva. I was a specialist in the Army as an infantryman, 11 Bravo. Um, well, what else? Been with Cal for about three, three years. Three years, yeah. Uh, I was, when I was hit, I was in Afghanistan, 2010, August 9th, um, pretty much. We were going on a patrol to go see if an ordinance blew up and pretty much a squad wanted or a yeah, squad wanted to roll out and they picked me to be their part of their weapons team. We went out there, <laughs> it was all fine and dandy, and then came back and uh ended up finding a, an IED placed in a mud wall and uh it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. I mean it it I was uh was thrown in the air, lost Lost my feet, lost lost fingers instantly. Um, you know, I had my my squad run over to me, throw tourniquets on me, medic run over me, throw tourniquets on me. Uh, got put on the bird and went to uh, CAF first in Afghanistan, our main main operating post, and uh, from there to Germany, and that's when all the the fun rehabilitation started and trying to stay alive. And living means to me, for me, you know, I had a second chance and I don't want to pass up living again. So I feel like I took it for granted and I don't want to, don't want to stop living this, this next time I have a next go around. It's there. There was times where I was, I thought I was dying, thought I was, thought it was over. Um, and in my mind, I was always wondering what made these, wonderful human beings want to keep me alive and it's like well why waste your time you know there's plenty more out there but i mean it sucked i mean beginning beginning first five months of trying to stay alive was the worst for me that was the closest i ever feel of this this, this was it you know when i was a cow coach what really helped me you know give me the motivation to help them. It was just them, you know, engaging with me and pretty much it, it's everyone that I, that came to me and said that they helped, that I helped is more of just someone being there and, you know, responding to them and actually listening to them. It, it's yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've helped some with some adaptive workouts and whatnot and, and whatnot, but more so it was more, them just having somebody there to to talk to and you know shoot the shit with and I mean I'm I'm all about that to help another another soldier because I didn't have that when I first came out so trying to just I, what I was trying to do is just trying to give them that that extra support that they you know everyone everyone needs that that cow you know provided how I think catch has been helping them oh, by making an awesome community that is so reliable that even during COVID, like you see our community still just bouncing off each other. It's crazy. Nutrition for me, it's, it's, it's one of the key elements of fitness. I mean, you gotta, you gotta eat to grow, you know, and you can't eat everything. You know, that's just macro count for me is what helped me lose all my weight. What people initially see when they see me <laughs> is first that I don't know if I look like a charity case, but I'm not. Um, I mean, a lot of them think that I'm struggling through life. I don't, I don't want to give off that image. I really don't. And it, I think it's just because the way society is, they see wheelchair, they see disability, they just think that the, that person's, you know, not able to help themselves. Don't get me wrong. Most of the times, you know, wheelchair users sometimes are like that, but I, me personally, my goal is to get away from that image. I, I want nothing to do with that. I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I don't want people to, you know, think that I can't do it for myself because sure as hell I can. And I, I prove it and I'm gonna continue to prove it. Thank you for helping me turn pain to purpose.